Hi, it's David here from DP Computing. Um, Windows 10 has just been launched today, so I've just installed it on a virtual machine here using Oracle uh, VirtualBox. Uh, just gonna give you a brief um, rundown of it so you can see what it looks like and how it is. So there's, it's soon booted up to the, lo the login screen and now we're at the desktop. Um, so it's just, I suppose a normal looking desktop apart from the look and feel down here of the taskbar and also of the new start menu so instead of a start screen it's a start menu like the old Windows XP and Windows 7 days but it has all the live tiles which is a feature of the Windows 8 start screen um, so here we've got your most used so presumably they'll um, change as you start using various apps. We've got the file explorer which we can go straight to desktop, download, documents, pictures, music and video. Looks like we can pin and there's again frequently used ones there. Settings, power, all applications. And then with the live tiles we've got um, weather, Microsoft Edge which is the Windows Internet Explorer replacement, calendar, mail, photos, OneNote, store, get office, news, money, Xbox, film and TV and music. Then down here pinned to the taskbar we've got again the file explorer, the Windows Store and Microsoft Edge. So I'll just check out Edge. There we are, it comes straight to a search um, page, so we can type in Windows 10, goes to the Bing screen, so we'll just bring up MSN, so it just talks about a review there, so I'm on an ADSL connection, about a 5 meg here, so it's running quite quickly, I'll just bring up my own web page, there we go, we can go to our YouTube channel. I'll just stop that before you me I pop up and start talking. That's all quite quick it seems. And across the top here we don't have it's very minimalistic. Just got the quit. Uh, windows and minimize and maximize so there's no actual taskbar or anything. We've got a little thing there to open up new tabs and from here it looks like yep there's the settings. So we've got different themes we can show the favorites bar, um, what page to go to when we first turn it on and there's some advanced settings. So look, we've even got a use Adobe Flash. We can turn that off or on. There's our favourites. Uh, them two we can't do anything with yet. So we've got refresh back and forward. So I'll just minimise that. Bring up File Explorer. Just the normal look and feel there. Just a bit more fancier. Got the Windows Store. So instead of coming up full screen, it comes up in a window. So there, now it's downloading its latest things. So I've got all our apps and so forth there, games, Facebook apps, just like the normal app store. Also here we've got a task view, which just brings up all the windows we've got, or all the applications we've got open. Um, it's quite handy, we can bring them full screen or even close them down. Whoops, if I do it right, click on the X up there, we can close them down. Also you can see down here, there's a little blue underline which has, which is, apps are open at the moment. Um, 
so we've got the OneDrive, um, network, speakers, notifications. So I'll see if we can bring up anything. No. So again, we can go File Explorer settings. And here's our settings, which looks like the old control panel. It's a bit more minimalistic. As you can see here, we haven't activated it yet. Uh, and if I haven't said, this is the Windows 10 Enterprise Edition. It's from the Microsoft Action Pack subscription or the Maps, uh, which is a partner only subscription to Microsoft software. So system settings, change the display, notifications, apps and features, multitasking, we turn it in tablet mode on or off, get it to sleep, storage, offline maps, default apps, and about, as you can see there, it's Windows 10 Enterprise, and I'm running it in a virtual machine, so it's only got two gear RAM, but it's running on an Intel Core i5 2400 CPU at 3.1 gig. So various devices, network and internet. So we can see our data usage for the last 30 days. VPN, dial up, ethernet. So in here we should be able to, I see it's flashing down here. Click on there. We can then see our internet or our network status go in there see the various properties for the various bits and pieces so I'll check my um, TCP IP version 4 that's just all the standard default that we're all used to in Windows 7 and Windows 8 uh, got the Windows firewall again that looks like Windows 7 internet options so that's your start page again that's like the internet options from the old operating systems home group should be the same network and sharing center again that looks like Windows 8 and Windows 7 then we've got proxy set up various proxies if needed uh, personalization now this copy isn't activated so I've just loaded it up so it just says we need to activate it before we can personalize things. There's a little bit of personalization, colors, lock screen, themes and the start. Accounts, that would just be my one account here. Again we need to activate it before we do anything. Time and language, so we set the time. I'll just set because I'm in Adelaide, so I'll just set that. Regions, languages, speech. Um, for this, we've got Cortana, which is um, their voice recognition software. Haven't gone into that yet, so I don't know how that goes. Um, don't know if I've got sound on here either, so. I may have to check that and have a quick look at Cortana. Um, so it's tried to install some updates but couldn't. It's probably because I've been rebooting the virtual machine. Windows Defender details there. Backup. Recovery. Activation. And for developers. Now, devices, uh, speakers should be there. So, what we can do is down here it says search the web and windows. Looks like we may need to. Oh, Cortana 
search settings. Cortana isn't supported in the region. Maybe because it's not activated, or they may be activating it slowly in different regions. So there we are, there's probably a very quick rundown or first impressions of my own of Windows 10. Um, hope to be doing another video shortly on a proper tutorial for Windows 10. But if you have any questions or anything, please leave them in the um, comments field below. And we'll just see how we go. And thank you for watching. And we'll catch you next time. Bye for now.